with a suitcase deadlift, you can use a suitcase instead of a dumbbell if you don't have any at home. Load it up with stuff around the house to make it heavier. For this one-sided suitcase carry, I've got the weight only on one side of my body. I'm gonna hinge at the hips so that the hips go back. My knees can also travel forward. And I'm gonna try to keep a very straight back throughout this lift. You can shorten the movement a little bit if you'd like to feel hamstrings a little bit more or if your flexibility is limited, but try to keep this in the glutes and hamstrings. For the two-sided suitcase carry, I'm again going to use two loaded suitcases or backpacks from around the house, or if I have them, two dumbbells. It's the same hinging motion from the hip where my back stays straight and I look down as I go down. I'm just showing you here in an opposite angle of the one-sided and two-sided lifts. I want to keep my shoulders and hips squared up to the camera despite having even one weight in one hand pulling me to one side. Lastly, if you're using suitcases and not dumbbells and they touch the floor when you go down to shorten your range, feel free to stand on a step or a little bit of a chair to give you more space. <laughs> 